What if I told you there's a peptide used by both men and women that can spark sexual desire without touching your hormones? No testosterone, no estrogen, just brain chemistry. It's called PT-141, but does it actually work or is it just expensive hype? All right, let's zoom out for a second. If you're watching this, chances are you're curious about libido. Maybe yours has dipped, maybe your partner's has, or maybe you're just someone who's heard whispers about this so-called passion peptide and you're wondering, is this legit? PT-141, also called bremelanotide, is a peptide that was originally developed for erectile dysfunction and low sexual desire, mostly in women. But over the last few years, it started making the rounds in the peptide community. Forums, Reddit threads, even underground clinics are offering it. And here's the wild part. It doesn't work like testosterone. It doesn't affect your estrogen. It doesn't even operate through your sex organs, at least not directly. It works on your brain. So today, I wanna to break it all down. We'll talk about how it works, what the research says, and how people are actually using it. And of course, what the side effects are. Because trust me, nausea is part of the story. So how does this little peptide do what it does? Let's start with the basics. PT-141 is a synthetic analog of something your body already makes, alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone, or alpha MSH. It sounds like it has something to do with tanning, right? And you'd be right, it does, but it plays a surprising role in sexual behavior. PT-141 doesn't target the sex organs, it targets the brain specifically melanocortin receptors, mostly MC3R and MC4R. These are found in the hypothalamus, an area deeply involved in motivation, arousal, and mood. When PT-141 binds to those receptors, a few things start happening. First, there's an increase in dopamine. That's your desired neurotransmitter. Second, blood flow improves in the general area. But again, that's secondary. And third, you feel more mentally tuned into sexual cues, more receptive and more primed. So if you're thinking, wait, this sounds like a brain drug more than a sex drug, and that's exactly it. That's what sets it apart from things like Viagra or testosterone. Viagra works on blood vessels. Testosterone works on an endocrine system. PT-141 works on neural circuitry. And a quick analogy, imagine your sexual desire is like a light. Most treatments are focused on replacing the bulb or fixing the wiring. PT-141 just flips the switch, that's it. The infrastructure is still yours, it just helps turn it on. Now let's talk evidence, because PT-141 isn't just some fringe compound someone's mixing up in a garage. It actually got FDA approved. In 2019, PT-141 was approved under the brand name Vilesi, specifically for hypoactive sexual desire disorder, or HSDD, in premenopausal women. That's a mouthful, but essentially it means chronically low libido. The approval was based on a couple of randomized placebo-controlled trials. One of the big ones was published in Obstetrics and Gynecology in 2018. They found that women using PT-141 had significant improvements in sexual desire compared to placebo and a drop in distress around sex. Now for men, this isn't FDA approved, but the data is promising. A phase two trial from way back in 2004 showed that men with erectile dysfunction had improved erectile response after using PT-141. Even men who didn't respond to PDE5 inhibitors like Viagra saw benefits. And that's a big deal because Viagra works by increasing nitric oxide and improving blood flow, but it doesn't generate desire. PT-141, by contrast, seems to increase libido itself, not just the hydraulics, it's drive. Now, are these studies perfect? No. Sample sizes are modest and many are industry sponsored, but the signal is there and it's consistent. All right, so let's shift gears. How are people actually using this stuff? Most commonly subcutaneous injection, about 0.5 to 2 milligrams per dose, usually in the belly fed, just like a typical peptide shot. Effects kick in within one to four hours and can last 24 to 36 hours. Some people report a warming sensation, a little flush, a little head rush, and then a kind of building arousal, mostly mentally and physically. And as an aside, I've used PT-141 and I can speak to the side effects as well as the benefits. So it's like flipping a switch and suddenly you're in the mood. It's more subtle, like your brain is turning up the volume on sexual cues that were already there, but maybe muffled. And here's something interesting. People are starting to microdose it, smaller, more frequent doses. And why? To minimize the side effects, particularly nausea, and extend the benefits more gradually. Now, is that how the FDA intended it to be used? Not really, but that's the peptide world for you. Some report taking them before a date night. Others time it a few hours before intimacy. Anecdotally, it seems to work well for people who felt that mental side of desire has started to fade, even when their hormone levels are technically normal. Okay, so this is important. The number one side effect, nausea. And we're not talking about a mild wave of queasiness. We're talking sit down on the couch and breathe through it, nausea. In fact, the clinical trials for Vilesi, up to 40% of women reported nausea. That's not rare, that's almost half, and for some, it's enough to stop using the peptide altogether. 
There are ways to mitigate for this, things like Zofran, and again, I can attest to the fact that it actually does work and help. So other side effects include flushing, headaches, temporary increases in blood pressure, and fatigue. In rare cases, people report vomiting, dizziness, or even anxiety. It's very individual. Some people tolerate it well, others try it once and swear never again. If you have a sensitive stomach, or if you're prone to motion sickness or migraines, PT-141 might not be your best friend. And if you have hypertension or cardiovascular issues, this is definitely one to approach with caution. It can cause a spike in blood pressure, even with a modest dose. So is it worth trying? Let's lay it out. First, the pros. It works for both men and women. It doesn't mess with your hormone levels. It's fast acting, effects within hours. There may be mood boosting benefits thanks to the dopamine bump, and it's FDA approved for female sexual dysfunction. And the cons? Nausea, likely, seriously. It also doesn't work for everyone. It requires an injection, there's potential blood pressure issues, and it's not exactly cheap. And who might it be a good fit for? First, men with ED who haven't had success with Viagra or Cialis. Next, women with chronically low desire, especially those who don't want hormone therapy. And lastly, anyone curious about a non-hormonal, brain-based approach to libido. And who should probably pass? People with high blood pressure or heart concerns. Anyone sensitive to nausea and those uncomfortable with self-injection. Bottom line, PT-141 can be powerful, but it's not magic. It takes trial and it takes error. It's a tool, not a miracle. So here's my take. PT-141 is one of the most fascinating peptides out there because it doesn't just treat the plumbing. It works on desire, the mental part, the spark. And for a lot of people, that's exactly what's missing. But like everything in medicine, especially in the peptide world, it's not one size fits all. Some people feel amazing. Others get a headache and want to crawl into bed and not in a good way. So if you're curious, work with a knowledgeable provider. Start low, go slow, and be prepared for some experimentation. This isn't about chasing performance. It's about restoring connection to yourself, your body, and maybe your partner. And in that sense, PT-141 might be worth a look. And next up, we're diving into Selenc. It's a peptide with anti-anxiety and nootropic properties. Basically, the opposite vibe from PT-141, but equally fascinating. Can it reduce stress and improve focus without side effects? We'll break that down in the next episode. So if you're into this kind of deep dive, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, I thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks.